Hello, Savage Storm. Uh, I want to take just a couple of minutes to run through uh, downloading this Rapid Miner software and kind of go over some things where we're at. Uh, I know we've had a couple of easy weeks, but don't don't just do the bare minimum and let stuff catch up to you. So let's see if I can do a quick share and kind of go over some things then i'll go over the rapid miner software how to download it how to get your license get everything but uh also want to go over these other projects so all right so kind of low yeah and i'm yeah i'm having to use you know this zoom version because uh, my other computer's down and, and i'm just using my crappy office computer and camera so It'll do though. So the home page you've seen, you know, the syllabus. I finally got it uploaded a day or two before the preview week was up, and you know, you got, uh, but some things didn't save and weren't. I don't know. Um, all your weeks, so, so, but I would suggest just going straight to modules and and keeping on these announcements. Make sure you have your announcement set to send you the email. Because that's generally how I communicate. Uh, if there's something that's not on the you know the written thing, so these certifications don't let them you know. The, yeah, they're due. You know, I think one who tweet in week six and and Google in week seven because that's when we're covering that topic. But don't let them slip up on you. I'm giving you a couple of easy weeks so you can go ahead and get those get started. Get the signed up for the software for the Hootsuite. Um, of course, when you click on that, that's why I choose just to go straight to the modules, kind of easier. But if you go straight to the modules, you know, you, it's all the way down at the bottom. Um, all the, all the stuff you need. You know, your doc, your sign up instructions, what you'll need. So we have. Um, you just follow these sign up instructions and, and, and everything work out. Several students have already done it. You need the social media on this one, but you have access to two different certifications, like uh, about $400 worth of uh, professional certifications you can get here. Plus, you have a whole year of this expensive software. So, it's a pretty good program that we get in every year. Um, Do it sooner rather than later. That way you have more time to play with the software, you know, and see how it works, but also so you'll get it done. Because next week when we start these analytical cases, it's going to take up a lot of your time. You don't want to wait till the very end of these when they're due because if you don't pass the certification the first time, you have to wait you know, 24 or 36 hours before you can take it again. Maybe it's 48, but it's a certain amount of time. You don't want to wait till the last day and then do it because my answer is going to be you've had all term and truly you have. Some people actually had all of these done before course even started because I had them up, you know, a day or two before, in, you know, the preview. Um, so this one, you get professional certifications that are, um, they're expensive. You get access to expensive software. The Rapid Miner, you get access to that expensive software. I will show you how to go in. The certifications are free. There's free training. You can go way, way beyond what we'll do in this course. And it's very good to do because the Rapid Miner suite is somewhat similar to um, SAS. Not, uh, it, SAS is a little more complicated, a little more overwhelming. This is easier to use. Very similar to Rapid to um not Rapid Miner, but uh, Azure, Microsoft Azure. So if you use that, you know, a lot of things are you know, very similar. Um, Terminology is a little different, but you know the, the actual what you're doing and why is very similar. Google certifications, you're already going to have a Google account to do the Python most likely, but you, you're going to need it. All of those are free, but going to this, site what it's going to do is teach you where a lot of these other certifications are so you get this one that's required maybe you want to add certificate google ads maybe you want the marketing platform you know 
Um, there's other all kind of skill sites within this Google training. You know where they are. You can kind of mark them on your calendar, but get this one. That's something you put on your resume. Like I said, I would go ahead and do it now while these first two weeks are very easy. So, yeah, the basically just the um, discussion boards that you'll have every week. Yeah, so we can just go with that. Going to be required. And if uh, the uh, if you uh, at one point in time I had another book that was optional on here, just kind of teach Python and Seaborn. It's okay, it wasn't great, so I kind of took it off. If it was still over at the bookstore, if you bought it, it doesn't cost that much, and it's a good reference. Downside, it's not the flow is not very good. It kind of jumps all over the place, and so, so you don't have to have it. We're not going to use it. Only the can you know only the connect. You can walk through that step by step for how to do that. Um, we're not going to do Tableau. You don't have to download that, uh, but it does have step by step instructions if you want to to do a couple of you know. And I think it was chapter four. Uh, you don't have to use SQL, but it's got access to SQL if you want to play with it, and you know, you know it shows you how. Um, really, for the first four chapters, you just kind of learn the overall process. Um, learn some of the terms, what we're doing, get used to the course and kind of get into some of these, the Hootsuite and the Google accounts, because those two together are 20% of your grade. You don't want to miss out. It's all or none. You get certified, your dates, it's got your name on it. The dates are good. You're good to go. Um, full credit. You will need rapid minor, like I said, Python, the book. The book shows you how to download Python, the Anaconda software to get to Jupyter Lab. You don't have to do that. Your Google account, there's an account called Google Colab. Uh, if you already had BUS 5553, then you got to do that a little bit this summer. It's kind of a pain to load the files, but I'll show you how. And if you want to just download the Anaconda software and load and go, that's fine. Google Colab has an AI-generated help tool to help you find your mistakes if you're in coding. Also, uh, use the uh, chat board. There's no penalty for helping each other get coding to work. Uh, it's not a coding class. So if y'all need to help each other you know, get code to work, that's fine understanding and, and, and deciphering the results that's that's the analytics part you'll need to do that on your own but we'll cover that as we get to the to the actual case study so we'll do at least one in python most of them in rapid minor and you know basic excel stuff um but let's get to these this is what kind of Kept changing on me. Kept adding stuff back that I tried to take out from previous ones. But so uh, we're trying to. But as far as what you'll be grading on your weekly discussion boards, it kept trying to throw in like current topic. Which last last couple of terms I had you had two discussion boards every week. Uh, I may just throw out some stuff for y'all to read on your own if you want to, but we're just going to kind of stick to one. It's probably going to be five total. So, um, or maybe six total and I don't know, whatever. But I'll tell you when you do and don't have a discussion board in your weekly introductions. Uh, smart book assignments. So it's going to take some time, a little learn some mark because if you miss one, it's going to give you three more, you know, just like in, in any of the other courses that use it. The chapter exercise, y'all should have figured out by now, I've got those set on the easiest possible. That should be a free 20%. If you've done the reading and and look to the, uh, the little study guides I give you and done the smart books assignments, then by the time you get the chapter, it should be pretty easy. And then case assignments, like I said, they're going to take some time. So don't wait till the last minute to do these. Um, and then your industry certifications, 
don't just because they're due six and seven, I put them in their own module so you could access them now. So be sure to do that. So um, now I'm getting to, let's go back to these modules. You should have, you know, kind of understood this. I, I put, and I'll, I'll end up putting this video into the week, week two module to top and send out an email to your uh, so you can see it, and it's going to show you how to walk through these um, instructions for downloading the the, the Rapid Miner AI. So should be able to download this, which is right here. And let's put it back up. This is the, so you click on this. I know I've sent several messages because we had a mess trying to get this thing to work over the summer because they told us to go to one site, but it's really another. They got it working a little smoother, but it still falls under the old rapid miner hat. So what you'll do is you'll go to that site and it should bring you to this Altair. So you sign in and all that, you won't have that. Scroll down, the first thing you see is this free trial, click on it. That's gonna take you to the site where you create your actual account. So first click on educational, that way they'll know we already sent in that we we're using this for the course. So hopefully um, your role is student. Put instructor or researcher, they're going to bomb you to death with spam. So that's the only difference. You don't gain anything. You're getting full access for one year. Just click student. University, make sure Southeastern Oklahoma State, uh, you'll need to use your student email account so they can verify that you're actually one of us. Use your actual name as it appears in Canvas so we'll know. Uh, that way, if they call me to verify it and you create your password, register. Then hopefully it'll take you to this download page. Okay, so I think there used to be a, maybe you have to log in like a legacy page. They may have done away with it. Let's see, I'll sign into mine. Well, now I'm logged in and you know, profile and tells me all my license. And so I'll go through here, AI Studio, uh, one you want, 7.2 plus. Okay. Well, ours is actually going to be like the 20. Well, the free one is a limited version, but the educational is, that's the full version, everything. Um, under the downloads, yeah. So looking for previous versions. If you want to download the exact version that's in the textbook and follow that, you should get the same answer. It's not a big deal. I'm going to post videos with the updated uh, just because why not use the most advanced. So the 2024.0, I think click on this. It's going to, wherever you got your download set to go. Um, if you got them set to pop up here, Got them set to automatically open. If you got them set to go to your download, whatever you got set up, whichever, if you're using Mac or Windows, if you're using Linux, then you're way more advanced than I am. You don't need my help. So click on that and it's going to pull up like a video for you to watch, but the actual download is going to be going on in the background. So it'll go to your, you know, like I said, your download folder or your browser, wherever you had it set up, then you either double click on it or, or Click to run it and it will automatically install. And once it does, it will install. Well, if you use one of these legacy versions, it'll it'll be called Rapid Miner. And see, I don't have one on the desktop, but I do have one in my bra. So it'll look like the green, yeah, orange and then green and then blue square and open that if you if you want to use a legacy like i said you got full access to the latest version just use the latest version because i'm going to 
I'm going to give you step-by-step -step instructions in the latest version of my video for all those examples. And I'm going to give you just a little bit of different stuff that I want for the actual what you turn in using the same file from the example. So I'll only change instructions a little bit to make sure you're actually doing it. Um, so the rapid minor stuff is going to take some time, but it's not hard. So the AI studio looks like the little Kirby thing here. It's uh 2024. Point zero point three. Once you open it up, when you're setting it up and doing a download, it should ask you what license you want. You're going to click Rapid Minor License, and that's going you're going to use that login that you created as soon as they tell you it's good. Um, or it may be good automatically, but if you have to wait for a response, and you do. Um, so it's going to bring up these uh, things here. You can click on blank process to start, or if you just close this out, close the template page out, it's going to start you the process. And from here, I will show you how to load stuff. I will show you how to set this up where it kind of looks like mine. Um, everything, if you did not click the correct license and you clicked the Altair units or you didn't select anything and it defaulted to Altair. It's not going to let you use the, the software. It's going to say the license is not valid. Just click on up here to settings and go to preferences. You can click on manage license and it'll show you where you're at. So you cannot mess with this. So I can't show you the whole step to download it from nothing. So once you have it, you can't mess with it until it completely expires and then you can request an extension which i went round and round with them this summer but as soon as the extension it was automatic as long as um they deemed i was yeah that i should get it so um you enter license i think you may have to when you've uh, download it. I think they will send you a license key that you have to put in here. Or maybe you just sign in, but you can sync your licenses uh, from settings, go to preferences, and come down here to license. Like I said, it's on, if you have it clicked to alter units, it's not going to let you log in unless you have a pay account. It's not what it's for. If you click the rapid miner, then okay, and you know, you'll only have to log in once or enter that license code once however they have it set up to do now but you'll be good to go and from here that's really you know all you have to do from now but i will show you if there's from here you can go into like the academy you can pull some stuff from the repository on the left there's some training data and from the altair account page there's also some My Account. Here's your downloads. That's where you get that. That's your licenses. It'll show you what you have. Educational program. Uh, that's what I had to sign up for for y'all to get it. So I think y'all should be good to go. And I'll just send them another. If y'all have any problems, just let me know and I'll send them another email. But um, your Profile. The community, that's going to give you, there's like help files and users that post how to do this, that, or the other, or problems or bugs or whatever. You can go there for what we're going to do. Uh, I don't expect there to be any bugs. You may have a problem, you know, following directions exactly, but, you know, once you've done it a few times, you won't. It's not that hard. Uh, and y'all are all very bright people, so I expect you, but if you click on the academy here, while you have your educational license, good. Uh, there's all kinds of certifications you can get. These are free certifications, but you have to have access to the software to get them. So they're, I mean, there's still a big bonus and you can go through, like I said, the, the software works kind of similar to Azure, a um, little, little simpler if you ask me, 
a lot simpler than SAS, which kind of uses the same operational model, but it's a visual prediction tool. Um, so I actually you may have to pay for some of these. No, some of them, I don't know. You just have to click and sign up and see if you have to pay for any of them. But, you know, they got some prep exams to help you get started. Uh, however deep you want to go. Machine learning, machine learning master. The platform, we won't get into that. But I mean, it's not an IE class or, or computer engineering class, but, or, or you know, even IT, but um, data engineering, engineering math, you know, it's getting pretty advanced there, but applications uses all four of these are very useful if y'all want to get them and they look good. So that's pretty much it. You know, once you get it going, and the key thing is just to get going. So if y'all have any problems, we'll try to get this uploaded as quickly as possible. Um, so y'all have it and you can go. Um, some of my videos haven't been showing up correctly. And if y'all are in my other class, you know, and it's been giving me fits and, uh, but for some reason, this one worked fine. So I don't know what the deal is. Um, I hadn't had that problem in this course and I hadn't problem with Mark Graw Hill showing up correctly in this course. So I, I don't know. So if y'all do, question and answer board, quickest way to get a hold of me. I mean, you're welcome to email me. I try to catch y'all's emails, you know, as quickly as possible. Um, an advanced course, but the question and answer board uh, on the discussion should be able to access it here. If not, you can go under the, and it'll always be pinned, and you just come here and ask whatever you need, and then help each other out. For those of y'all that had intro to you know, data mining, you know, I uh, appreciate y'all helping each other out more than, you know, you won't, you won't get in trouble for it. I want y'all helping each other. I want y'all to know who you can trust, who you can ask when you get in the field. So um, if you don't see the discussion board, you don't have it set up, you know, you can always come back to the start here and the Q&A board is pinned in there. So that's how to get me and y'all kind of keep getting set up and rolling through here and um, Start working on those professional certifications. Knock those out as you have time. And we will get into the real stuff next week where the video will be twice as long and a lot more complicated. So until then, y'all take care.